Hi, I'm Nathan Buda. I'm an artist. Uh, I work mostly in painting and drawing. I was born in Massachusetts, raised right outside of Boston. I uh, studied in Chicago and I lived in Puerto Rico for over 20 years. I don't know. I didn't tell people to find art they love, to follow their hearts and their eyes and not get caught up always in, the, in what's in the art magazines or what's in the media. And also not to get turned off by the, what's in the art magazines and the media because it's easy to see a bunch of stuff that you don't understand and think, well, art's not for me. It's only for the people who understand these black squares. You know, let's get out there and find stuff, look at stuff, see stuff that mean something and then put it in your living room and see how much that changes your life over the course of a year or two. I was thinking a little bit about that because I was thinking about the question you asked me the other day of like what's the one thing that I want you want to do in your life and I don't know I'm not that practical a person I guess so I was thinking well I want to make this really transcendent painting some of mine I think are pretty good, but you know, you never know. You just want to kind of keep going and get something that has like a vision that really kind of captures the moment and the, and the mystery of life and the kind of forces and powers that we, that we are part of and that we engage in. And I think that's a lot of what this work is trying to do is talk about our life, talk about the world, talk about um, past and present, um, think about everything in our world and you know and intelligence and different life forms and do it in a way that's almost dreamlike that's not that defined but that has possible readings like I don't have a given message in each painting like oh the octopus symbolizes this or the you know the bumblebee symbolizes, symbolizes danger or symbolizes whatever fertility because they go around and pick up pollen and you know and germinate stuff there's all that information about you know there's information behind each image but it's kind of like creating something that I think is um, aspires to be kind of visionary and magical and, and probably intuitive like because I don't have an exact given message it's not like oh, I'm trying to say this this and this it's just like these things seem to fit together to me they seem to comment on each other